compare wine with shoes rather than wine with food. And we have so much to talk about this week. This week I chose champagne and not any champagne. The sh champagne I chose was Amon uh, de Brinec. Amon de Brinec, which actually goes by the name Ace of Spades. And it's very famous because Jay-Z owns it. And the reason Jay-Z, maybe he likes champagne, but the reason he bought it was to piss off Cristal because Cristal got a little upset that they, all the hip hop artists were featuring Cristal in their videos and was becoming very associated with the hip hop crowd. And Cristal thought that it was not the target audience they wanted for their very fancy champagne. So Jay-Z bought Ace of Spades. It has a very flashy bottle. It's a gold bottle with a, a pewter uh, uh, Ace of Spades on the front of it and it's featured in a lot of videos now and Kim Kardashian said it's the only thing she drinks which is why I actually chose it this week but it's become quite the pissing contest among the big boys with money and Mark Cuban spent ninety thousand dollars on a Nebuchadnezzar which is 15 liter bottle uh, when he was celebrating the NBA championship of the Mavericks and then not to be outdone by him the Boston Bruins a few weeks later bought a, a Mel Melchizedek, that's what it's called, Melchizedek, which is 30 liters, which is 40 bottles of champagne for $100,000. And not to be outdone by them, Don Johnson, not the actor, but the world famous Amer American blackjack player, bought, spent 170 pounds, equivalent to about $400,000 American, on a single bottle. They call it the, the Midas bottle, which is the um, Mezakizdek, Me Mezakidek. <laughs> Melchizedek. Melchizedek, that's how you say it. I hadn't heard of that one before. Uh, which makes him the world's winner of spending the most money on one single bottle of champagne. He is a record holder until somebody else with a bigger swinging beats him on that. So it's become a big boy among the big players with big money. The reason I chose the champagne because Kim Kardashian uh, happens to say that's the only thing she drinks and we own the same shoes. I found a picture of her wearing these shoes, these shoes. I suspect that she probably didn't pay for Mars, but I got mine at a high, high end secondhand store in San Diego with my friend Maria, who likes to go to those places. But uh, it's probably the only thing Kim Kardashian and I share. But these shoes are fabulous. They're wonderful. They're red soled. So you know what that means, Christian Louboutin, which I am a huge fan and so are a lot of people. He opened his own store in 1991 and his first customer was <laughs> Caroline, Princess of Monaco, not bad. Found out Dan a lot of celebrities like him and he's featured on a lot of videos, J-Lo, um, Britney Spears, I'll talk about Louboutins. And here's the deal, Daniel Steele, the romance mo uh, writer, owns 6,000 pairs of Louboutins, 6,000 pairs. S apparently she bought 80 pairs in one shopping trip. I feel like I don't even have a problem anymore. I feel like I'm completely normal. Like the amount of shoes I have, hmm, not even a drop in the bucket. I only have three pairs of Louboutins, but I am willing to try to catch up with Daniel Steele. I am willing. Anyhow, this week, I suggest you go buy a bottle of vintage Tattinger. It'll cost you a third of the price and it's delicious. And I'll come over and drink it with you. Have a good evening, everybody. Good day. Cheers.